Councillor Cordova. Thank you very much, Mayor. My questions are about short stay accommodation, and I apologise in advance if some of these require, um, they might need to be taken on notice. In February 2020, the first report on data collection from the Short Stay Accommodation Act 2019 was published. As far as my reading of it goes, it showed that there were 223 properties in Kingborough listed as short stay accommodation properties where the owners where it was not the owner's principal place of residence. That is to say, the entire property was used for Airbnb. My question is, what is the total number of properties in Kingborough that are currently approved for visitor accommodation? I think we'll have to take it on notice, um, but unless Mr. Ferrier or Ms. Tyler Moore have that information at their fingertips. Um, through you, Mayor, the um, data that's come back from the state government through that new act um, has revealed this a lot of errors in their data, um, which we've raised with them. And I don't have the number on hand about how many um, approvals we do have, but we can um, provide that information at the next meeting. Thank you so much. My second question through you, Mayor, is what is the opinion of the council? Do we, do we anticipate that all of those properties uh, will go back to short stay accommodation after the COVID pandemic? Or in is there an opinion that um, some of those will revert to rentals. Do we have any sense or broad comments around that? Again, uh, Mr. Ferry or Ms. Tyler Moore, I'm happy for either to take that. Um, through you, Mayor, we wouldn't want to speculate about what people want to do and we don't have really any anecdotal information from um, applicants that I'm aware of about what they want to do. In some instances, um, they may revert back to residential, but in a lot of incident incidents, cases where the properties are on properties that are rural resource um, or other similar zones, it may be prohibited to have it as a long-term rental because that's what the provisions of that zone um, dictate. Thank you. And my final line of questioning then, Mayor, is on the 2nd of June, the Mercury reported the Premier saying that it was up to local councils to restrict the number of short-term rental properties if they felt that would increase housing affordability. And the quote from that Mercury article says, Mr Gutwin said it was not the state government's job to cap, to cap short-term rental numbers as that power was already in the hands of councils, end quote. My question is, do you have any comment on the Premier's assertion? Is it true that this power to cap short-term accommodation falls solely to councils? And second to that, has the council considered capping short-term accommodation properties uh, similar to the attempt by Byron Shire Council? Ms. Tylermore. Um, through you, Mayor, it uh, wouldn't be a simple to cap the number of people with um, visitor accommodation because we have to assess each application on its own merits. So if there's no grounds to refuse it, then you can't refuse it. If we did want to go down that, we would need to introduce some sort of policy or specific area plan that applies to the municipality that may have restrictions on it. Uh, Hobart City Council and the Battery Point, uh, so the Flinders um, planning scheme do have restrictions in them, which is different to all the other southern councils. We don't have that in place. Um, and it's my understanding, although I'm not an expert on it, that it could be up to the state government to put controls in as well, which obviously they have the power to implement that through the planning schemes. Thank you, Mayor. 